Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I model this USB hub. In here I have the lid, the button, and the body. So hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so in the product workbench, I will create a new sketch and the top view. I create um, a real rectangle. And we set the radius to 10. Let this line and this line hit E for eagle. And selecting this point, this point, and the center point. Hit S for symmetry constraint. Selecting this line and set the distance from here to here 100. Close. Now I will extrude this gap. You also extrude. Um, I will extrude this one down in the negative one in the Z axis, and we set it to five. Next, I will create a chamfer. So that in this edge, we go to the chamfer, and we fill a chamfer it to show. Next, I will separate the upper one and the lower one. So I go to the curve workbench. I control select in the top face and one of the faces of the chamfer. And I go to parametric solid to generate a new surface. I click on the new surface and I hide it. I come down here. I can just select in the bottom face and on off the neighbor faces. And I go to parametric solid so that I have another surface. I click on the chamfer and I hide it. And as you can see, this is the lower one and this is the upper one. Now I go back to the product workbench. I create a new sketch on the top view. I create a slot something like this selecting this point and this point and hit C and I set the radius to 30 and we set this one to like 80 and I close and we is to this one down to about 50 and negative one in the z axis click ok now i can just select in the upper one and the is to zero zero one and I go to cut okay next i will create a profile and using that to sweep along these three edges. I create a new sketch on the front view. And we reference this line. View the section. Then we create an B splice. Start from here to here. And finish in here. Okay, and make sure these two points horizontal. So in here is already horizontal because this point is on the red line. 
Now we set the distance from this point. Ten. The distance from this point to this point. Five. From here to here. Four. Something like this. Then I close. Next, I go to the sweep and I click on the SCAT002 as a profile. Double click on it and I go to the sweep part and I can just select V3 in sequence. Hit done and OK. Okay, now I drop the sweep down and I hide the SCAT002. Next, if we go to the left view, I need to cut this piece. So we go to create a new sketch on the right view. Click on the reverse direction. And we reference this one. I view the session. I create polyline. Start from here. Create three lines like this. Select in this line and this point. Hit C. And make sure this point is higher than this line. Close. And we screw this one to 100. Symmetric. Okay. Now I will control select in this sweep and then this two zero zero two and I go to cut. Next I will fill the holes. So before I fill the the holes, I need to uh you can see this uh, edge is really long, so I need to uh union this one uh the lower one and the upper one together. So that I will have, uh, after that, I will have a short edge in here. So I need to control select in this one, this one, and then the lower one. And go to the union. Now you can see uh, I have a short edge in here. And now I will fill the surface. In order to fill the surface, I need to connect between this point and at this point to have a line. Okay. Now I go to the curves workbench. And I can touch select in this point and then this point. And I create a parametric line. So that I will have this line. Now um, I will go to the surface workbench. Go to the filling tool and Starting to select edges in sequence. You can see now the surface work. Click OK. Doing the same building. OK, now I will uh, go to the curse of bench. Hit Shift B and select everything and go to parametric solid. And then we'll go back and um, to the very first sketch. The first sketch over here. I click on it, which is this one. Let me show it. And I want to create a 2D offset of this sketch. So I go to the part bench. And with this get selected, I go to to the offset. And I want to offset it uh negative show so that the offset go inside. Click OK. Now I will hide the sketch. We only have the to the offset, which is the front view. 
Okay, let me move this one down. Negative two. And let's go and it's through this one. Down to negative one in the z axis. And let's go to 10. Okay. And let me hide a solid for a second. I select in this edge. Go to the chamfer. Slide two for that. Now I will control select in the solid zero zero two and the chamfer zero zero one. And I go to cut. Okay, so we have something like this. And now, now we'll create a button up here. So I will create a new skin on the front view. And view the session. We'll create a rectangle. Selecting this edge and set it to scale. Here to set this one to show. The length of this line will be three. Close. And I will revolve this one and click OK. Until selecting the Cut zero zero two and revolve and then a cut. Then I go inside the cut. I click on the revolve and I go to plot and then scale. Non uniform scaling. And I scale in the S axis zero point ninety nine. Zero point 99 and for the z i keep it one click ok now we have a new button but smaller than the hole I click on this line and go to the chamfer one next i will create a new sketch on the top view but i offset this one up to Six right into circles. Set in V shoe. Hit E for ego. Set the diameter to three. Let in this point, this point, and the center line. Hit S for symmetry constraint. Set the distance to twelve. This time from here to here will be 30. And a close. All right, let's is do this one down to five. Negative one in the Z axis. And control select in this cut zero zero three and this one. And let's go to let's go to cut. And from there, I will create some fillet. Let in this edge, go to the fillet. Let's try to, okay. Click on this edge, go to the fillet. So, let's go down here, select in this edge, and then this edge, fillet. Point five. Okay. Next, I will correct in the the bottom part. Let's go back to the first gap. Hit Control C to copy, and Control V to paste it, so that I have a sketch zero zero six. Let me show it. Go to the front view, and let's go to the Z axis and move this one down to negative five. And let's go and it's through this one down to uh, 20 and negative one in the Z axis. Okay. 
let me select this one and rename this one to uh, lead rename this one to the button and let me have these show and this is the body i click on this and go to the thickness and let's go to negative two Let's select uh, this edge out here and this edge inside here. Go to the fillet. Let's try to select in this edge and then this edge. Then fillet it with 0 0.5. Then I can show the button and the lid. Then I will create in some holes for the USBs. I create a new sketch on the front view. I view the session. Let's go and create in a uh, round rectangle. And we set the radius to one distance from this line to this line will be let's try five and from here to here will be 15 and the distance from this point to the red line 12 from this point to the green line will be also trail now we select uh, all of the geometry and go to the symmetric and then click on the green line now i have two degree of freedom so i need to select in this point this point and the center line i hit s for symmetry constraint now the sketch is fully constrained i close uh we will this get to 100 <coughs> and in default is the negative y, the y axis is okay all right so i will control select in the field that and it is true i go to cut and then in the back i also need to have a small circle so create a new sketch in the front view build a section and also creating a circle with the diameter is six and let's go and set the distance to 12 and i will extrude this one in the y axis positive one and 100 and let's go and cut it control select in the cut and it is true and go to cut right so that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching and see you in the next video